Hello, everyone. Good morning. I'm here in Hoth, a little town. It's about uh, 13 kilometers from Dublin city center. And it's actually a small fishing port. And it's by the bay, by the harbor. Join me for a little walk on this place. And I could show you around this little town called Hoth. You can see over here is all the fishing nets, fishing gears everywhere. I think the fishermen are preparing to go out to the sea today. Because they're loading up all the gears. So I would say probably they will be going out to the sea today. Over there, as you can see, is the Hoot Village Residential. There is plenty of uh, restaurants around the village. From Irish restaurants to Italian restaurants, you name it, there's always there. And this place here is best for seafood restaurants as you can see there's so many shops over here there's uh fish shops of the food which also sells fish there's uh rights of food these are all fish mongers over here if you want to go and want to have a fresh taste fish you can just come to this place and you could actually buy fish and cook it yourself or you can sit around there's so many seafood restaurants around here there's fresh and cold Krabi Joe at the moment it's closed yeah. and over there is the Irish Coast Guard this one here is a uh, the rail for maintenance, boat maintenance. You could lift up the boat up here and as you can see it could go up the back over there and you could do a repair overhaul or dry dock. And here you can see there's so many marine parts, marine suppliers from uh, tackles to fishing pools to whatever you need from life vest to anything about uh, sea going. Also, there's a lot of serious good restaurants around here. There's the Brass Monkey, the Beer House. There's another shop there for fish market. There's the Reeds over here, fish market. There's the fish. So we're walking towards the a little uh, pier over there. We will take a look. We could see some uh, fishermen doing some fishing. Normally they fish there for uh, mackerel, but I don't know if it is mackerel season this time. Yeah, there's one uh, fishing boat probably getting ready to depart 
like uh, a fish and chip maybe. On the other side over there is the ore house, which is also a fish restaurant. There's a Kufuzi, Doran's on the pier, seafood market. Fishing Yisha. Man, it's in Vivo. The fishing trip, they have probably scheduled or they just probably yeah, came back from fishing and get all the cuts sold in the market. There's so many fish market over here, there's fish fish This is a pretty good uh, fish in Russia They have modern facilities to process the fish On the other side there, I think they were doing some renovations on the pier. Normally you could go up or go up, up to that uh, little light house over there. Also over there there's the marina. So here is a big trawler as well, Mianda Drogheda. And on my left side, sand side is the uh, Nikki's place. Nikki's place is one of the oldest uh, fishmonger shops over here in Hope. Okay, this place over here, that's uh, Aqua. It's a very famous restaurant for seafoods. This is really good. But it's a bit pricey. So as we can see over here, so many fishermen still out in the pier. Still here in the pier. fishing boat, seagulls, hello there Mr. Seagull, hello. hi how are you? Hi. There's also a activity center here for scuba diving if you want to feel like uh, doing some scuba lessons <laughs> but probably not in this place it's too cold okay so over here at the end of the pier there was a historic moment that happens here it's actually this king here, King George IV, on the 12th of August, 1821, 
set of footsteps over on this place it says here 16 paces in this direction so what we're gonna do is we have two natural 16 paces one two a mark somewhere here for King George's footstep but it's probably gone because you probably because of the renovation of the pier over here here as you can see in the front that's a uh, Ireland Island it's a little island Inhabited island, and as you look up the sky, there's a plane that's on approach because Dublin Airport is not so far away from here. So during the summertime or probably mackerel season, you would see so many anglers lining up into that uh, edge over there, trying to cut some fish. It's either for sports or it's either for probably dinner. Later on, we will go into that place over there. It's the lighthouse and that one over there. Now, as you can see, there's a fishing boat coming back from, probably from a fishing trip. Okay, we will start to go to the other side and I'll show you the place near the lighthouse over there see the guy waved at me yeah, he knows that he was in camera That's a short walk from the Port Harbour. We will try to uh, walk towards the the main village shop over there. If you live near here, it should be a very good place to, you know, take a walk every day in the morning, exercise. Number one, West Pier Coach Island. Still good. This is the Aqua Restaurant. At the moment, they are closed because of the government restriction due to COVID 19.
So my friends, now you have seen the Hood Harbor, a little fishing port. This little town is very famous for Ceiling fish. There's Nick's place. Place uh, doesn't have too much restaurant. There's only a few restaurants, but uh, as years pass by. As you can see, there's so many seafood restaurants already established here. Before, there was nothing here. This is all processing, fish processing place. As you can see, there's so many fish over there, different types. From squid, fish, seafood, sea clams. Actually, that big building over there is a fish processing plant. And also behind these uh, buildings over there, just right uh, across ahead, on my right hand side, there are all big fish processing plants as well. Long time ago, about probably 10 years ago, we used to come down here and ask for salmon head is free. But now, now these days nothing is free. Even salmon head, you have to buy it. At least maybe 50 cents each. As you can see, we're on the pier house. We used to dine over here, but it's a bit pricey. It's also the brass monkey. Good restaurant. Hey, how are you? There's marine supply over here. And as you can see over there, it's Irish Coast Guard. Uh, vehicles because on my right hand side over here is the Irish Coast Guard uh, headquarters here Robbie mm -hmm. Joe Also on that side of there is the net micro controller. As you have noticed over here, you can see there's cameras. There's plenty of cameras around to record everything here that's going into the port. So this place is very much secured. We shot this hold. That place here is Bishop and Oats. We used to go there and buy fish, but 
now it's getting expensive. <laughs> we don't buy there anymore. We just buy to uh, <laughs> other places like Doran's. It's more cheaper. There's a white submarine over there. Yeah. If you go straight into the road over there, okay. It's an old uh, fish processing plant. And on that side of there is the is a train station, port train station. As you can see in front of me is food market. It actually operates only during the weekend.